In today's video, we are going to explore how to build a full stack web application using Next.js and then deploy it to the cloud with a platform called Sivala. We'll start with the basics of Next.js, so even if you're new, you'll be able to follow along. We'll then build a simple real-world project called Bitemunk Course Feedback, an app that lets users submit and view feedback on courses. Quick heads up, this video is sponsored by Sivala, but everything I share here is my honest take. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced developer, there will be something here for you. We'll keep things simple and practical, but also touch on some advanced tips. So let's dive in. When you are building web apps, you usually care about two things, speed and simplicity. That's exactly where Next.js shines. Next.js is a popular React framework for building web applications. Think of it as a toolkit that sits on top of React and gives you a bunch of powerful features out of the box. First, server-side rendering or SSR. Instead of sending an empty shell and making the browser build everything, Next.js renders the page on the server and ships a ready-to-go HTML page. That means faster load for users and much better SEO since search engines see real content right away. Then there is static site generation or SSG. Think of it as pre-cooking your pages during build time. If you are running a blog or doc site, the pages are generated once and then served instantly through a CDN. It feels lightning fast for the user while you still get to build with React. And here is where things get even better. API routes. Traditionally, you will spin up a separate Express server to handle backend logic, like saving data or authentication. With Next.js, you can write those APIs right inside your project. Frontend and backend live together, which means less setup and faster shipping. And on top of that is simple file-based routing system. Your folder structure becomes your app structure, and you have got a framework that removes a lot of the headaches that used to slow developers down. These are just the big highlights. Next.js actually comes with a bunch of other nice touches, things like built-in performance boost and image handling. In short, Next.js provides everything you need to build a modern web app in one package. It handles the hard parts like routing, bundling, and rendering, so you can focus on writing your application's logic. Now let's talk about the project we will build, the Bitemunk Course Feedback app. I run an online course platform called bitemunk.io where students can take courses. We want to create a simple but real-world application for collecting feedback from users about the courses. The app will allow users to submit feedback comments and perhaps a rating or name. And it will display a list of all feedback for everyone to see. We'll use Next.js for the front-end and back-end of this app and a PostgreSQL database to store the feedback. This means our text tags looks like React via Next.js on the front-end and API route on the back-end also in Next.js and Postgres as the database. When we are done, a user will be able to open the app, fill out a feedback form, maybe they enter their name, select a course and write a comment, hit submit and the page will update to show their feedback along with others. All of this will happen in one Next.js application. No separate server needed. We'll then deploy this app so anyone can use it online. Let's start coding. We'll use the official Next.js starter. Here I'm running the Next.js setup command to create a new app called Bitemunk Feedback. This tool will scaffold a basic Next.js project for us with all necessary configuration. We can accept the default options for now or choose TypeScript if you're comfortable. Either is fine. Once that's done, we can cd into this project directory and open it in our code editor. A fresh Next.js project has a structure like this. A pages directory for our pages and API routes. A public folder for static assets and some config files. Let's create the front-end form where users can leave their course feedback. This form will include fields for the user's name, email, a course dropdown, a rating of one to five stars, an optional how did you hear about us input, and a feedback message box. We'll also add submit and cancel buttons so the form feels complete. Now we need to handle what happens when a user clicks submit. In Next.js, we'll write a function that collects all the form data and sends it to our backend API route, which we will create in our next step. Here is the flow in simple terms. When the form is submitted, we prevent the page from refreshing, grab the values the users entered, and send them in a post request to API feedback. That payload will include things like name, email, course, rating, and message. Once we get a successful response from the backend, we can either clear the form or better yet, refresh the list of recent feedback so the new entry shows up right away. Now for the backend part. 
the API route. For our feedback API, we want to handle two cases, get request to fetch list of all feedback from the database, post request to receive a new feedback submission and insert it into the database. Now, before we write the database logic, let's set up our database connection. We are using PostgreSQL. The table might be something simple like this. We need to connect our Next.js API route to this database. The simplest way is to use pg node.js package. Then in our API route, we can use it to run SQL queries. Here, process.end database URL is an environment variable that contains our database connection string, which includes the host, database name, username, password, etc. This is important. We don't want to hard code credentials in our code. We will later configure this on Sevala as well. And that's it. We now have a full flow. Form data goes to our API, API talks to Postgres, and the updated list comes right back to the UI. All without setting up an extra server. Next.js has it all built in. Now, the last piece of our app is to display the feedback comments on the page for users to see. We have our API returning JSON data. Now we need to fetch the data on the front end and render it. We'll use React state to hold the list of feedback. When the components mounts, we fetch API feedback, a GET request, and pass the JSON and update the state with the array of feedback comments. Then we map over the state to render each comment, maybe just showing the name and message. With the coding done, let's test it out locally before deploying. Running npm run dev starts the Next.js dev server on localhost 3000. Let's open that. Here, our app is running locally, and I'll fill out the form to simulate a user's feedback submission. When I hit submit, our app sends the data to the Next.js API route, which writes through the database and returns the updated feedback list. Awesome, the new feedback showed up instantly, which means our full stack flow is working. Now, it's time to deploy this application so the world, or at least our team, can use it. For deployment, we'll choosing Sevala. It's going to let us deploy our Next.js app and our PostgreSQL database under one roof quickly and easily. First, you need to create an account on the Sevala website. They even provide some free credit to try it out, which is nice. Once logged in, you arrive at the Sevala dashboard. We are going to do two things here. Create a PostgreSQL database for our app on Sevala and deploy our Next.js application to Sevala's application hosting. In the Sevala dashboard, find the option to add a new database. Choose PostgreSQL. After a few seconds, Sevala will provision a new Postgre database for us. It's fully managed, meaning Sevala handles the setup, scaling, and maintenance. Copy the database connection URL, and we'll need to supply this to our app. Now let's add our application. So I have connected my GitHub account and selected the repository containing our Next.js project. We also choose the region for our app, ideally the same region as the database for best performance. Now before deploying, we need to tell our app how to connect to the database. Remember that database URL environment variable we used in development? We need to set that in Sevala. Now our app running on Sevala will have access to process.env.database URL and can connect to the right database. We hit the deploy button or it might start automatically on linking the repo. Sevala will spin up a container to build our app. Under the hood, our Next.js app will run on Google Kubernetes Engine GKE in the region we choose. And here it is. Our app is on the internet. It looks the same as it did locally, which is what we want. Now, let's test the feedback functionality on the deployed version. When we submit on the live site, the request goes to our Next.js API route running on Sevala's cloud, which writes to the managed PostgreDB also in Sevala. The page then refreshes the list. And it works. We have successfully deployed our full stack app. Now, if you have used Heroku, Vercel, or Railway, the idea is similar. But as we'll see, Sevala has some unique strengths like unlimited collaborators and usage-based pricing. So if you're working with a team, Sevala lets you to add unlimited users to your projects with no extra cost. And this is a big deal because platforms like Heroku or Vercel often charge per team seat or have limits on collaborators on free tiers. With Sevala, you can invite all your teammates to view logs, edit environment variables, or help debug without hitting a paywall. Sevala doesn't make you pick a fixed server size plan upfront, and there are no tiers or plan limits. You pay only for what you actually use in terms of resources. And as we saw, Sevala provides managed database right out of the box. We could create a PostgreDB with a few clicks. We could just as easily add a Redis cache or a object storage bucket. 
Sevala's object storage is S3 compatible and unlimited. And finally, when you deploy in Sevala, your app runs on Google's Kubernetes engine. That is on Google Cloud infrastructure. This means your app can scale and perform like an enterprise-grade deployment by default. Sevala aims to take the best of all worlds. The ease of use of Heroku or Versal, the flexibility of Fly, and the transparent pricing of Railway. And it packages that with all-in-one solution. App, DB, storage, CDN. It's specially friendly for startups, hobby projects, or open source collaborations where a lot of people might work on the app. I hope this showed you that frameworks like Next.js can make full-stack development less intimidating and that deploying apps doesn't have to be a headache. The best part is you can try Sevala yourself with $50 free credit, no upfront cost. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and drop your questions for Sevala experiences in the comments. Happy coding, and I'll see you in the next one.